Hey guys, Nolan here. Today, another quick tip. What is it? Riding ahead of your horse. Have you ever noticed when your coach rides your horse for you, they can make the horse go beautifully and the horse doesn't spook, doesn't miss up nothing. It's all just, ooh. Meanwhile, when you get on, the horse is spooking at the door. It's looking at itself in the mirror. Oh, look at that. There's a bird off in the distance. We gotta stare at that. Have you ever wondered, how is it that the coach can do that? I got a secret for you guys. They're riding about 10 paces before the horse. Well, what exactly does that mean? Let's just say you're coming down the long side of the arena. And as he comes to this corner, you have lost all your bend and your suppleness and your rideability. What you're gonna do is you're gonna end up waiting for him to react to then do something about it and fix it. Meanwhile, your coach, as Ari knows he's gonna do it, down at that far end, she can already feel it coming. And now she's gonna do something about it before it even happens. That's riding 10 paces ahead. But as amateurs, we don't really think like that. We haven't ridden 20, 30, 50, 100 horses in our lifetime, we've ridden maybe 10. So what we do, we have to actually think about it. We have to mentally think about it, not let our, our natural abilities, our natural feel, do it for us because we don't really know what we're doing. Sometimes we have to kind of make ourselves do it. So if we're going to take that same line again, coming down this long side, you'd think at the top end, you know in this corner he's gonna do his thing. At the top end, you're going to do a 15 meter circle. That's gonna set you up to say, think about it. Then you're gonna come down, halfway down, and do another 15 meter circle to keep your brain on thinking, this is what we're doing. So when you come to the third end that he's gonna dick around with, you're already thinking, I'm already on top of it, instead of waiting, or not really acknowledging that what he's going to do. And that's pretty much everything we've got for today. I know, pretty quick, pretty simple, but it's just something to keep in the back of your mind while you're riding, try to figure out, how do I get my horse to stop looking at things, distractions, spooking, whatever, all that stuff. How are you supposed to deal with it? You're gonna think, 10 steps ahead of them and expect that they're gonna do it. Don't wait for them to do it. Because if you wait, you'll never catch up. You're always fixing after the fact. Whereas if you think that they're gonna do it beforehand, you can just smooth it over. And it's like 10, 20 times easier to do it that way anyway. Yep, with our little makeshift halter, because we broke another one. Yep, that's just how we roll, guys. And now, it's on to you. Let me know down in the comments, how do you handle when a horse starts spooking? What do you do? Let me know down below. And if you enjoyed this video, why not give it a thumbs up, as I've said before, and I'll say it again. It's a little thing, but it does go a long way. And while you're at it, why not hit the subscribe button and join the Little Cruiser Guild yourself? We have new videos up every week for your entertainment, but also to make this horse world make a bit more sense. And that's pretty much everything I've got for you guys. All right, thank you so much for watching. I am Noel Michael Cruz. I'll talk to you later. Ciao!